Hello and welcome to the Kryptonaut Podcast presents Evil Science and Magic Buddies, the show within the show, the conspiracy of the conspiracy, the Crypto Roundtable Listener Stories Part 28. Hot damn. damn. Oh man, cooking along, doing it. My name is Mark Stores and hanging out with me as always is... Uncle Bobby. Uncle Bobby, thank you so much. And second cousin Chris. Oh, dude, no one ever <laughs> yeah. sees him coming, dude. Second cousin Chris, you're always yep. at the funeral. You're looking fucking get high, get fucked up. You're like, where's second yeah. cousin Chris? Oh, he's fun. I'm the yeah. cousin you can marry. Yeah, it's true. Second- I didn't oh, want to go there. Legally. But, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. legally, I knew you. you I, I, the vibe was there. <laughs> oh, yeah. So and that's why I'm like, I'm just going to Definitely web feet free in the year after 23 because fucking, you know, you yeah. don't have the genetic uh, problems. Now, there's some social stigma. And rightfully so. <laughs> I mean, second cousin Chris, though, eh, he's all right. I mean, if you live in like a provincial what? town in the 1500s, then marrying your second cousin is par for curse. But in the 21st century, you know, get a Tinder account. I mean, someone's going to send us True. links to like the legalities of this for sure. Oh, I don't care. I'm, I'm just saying. I'm sure it's perfectly we'll, legal. We'll have the information soon enough, sir. Hey, I'm not here to stop love. Just think about it. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. That's those are wise words to live by, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all for joining us. Yes, for the listener stories part twenty eight. Robert, we got two stories coming to us here. Uh, a little spooky. A little, I, I I try to develop my themes. I try to come up with these these I themes, them. and I I definitely got some uh, got something special for us today, dude. Here, you've so. been you've been like brimming. You've been bubbling under the surface ever since you told me about this. You've been like, oh, dude. Well, the, oh, dude. There was one here. Um, that uh that had had come in a little bit later and i was like oh hello you you gotta love those little surprises yes and if uh this uh, there are going to be some pictures involved with 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 one of these stories that will be posted on the website so just as a as a heads up before we get started if you want to see these pictures because they're going to be important to the story just go to kryptonotpodcast.com click on the the title it'll give you the you know the the picture it'll also be on Instagram and whatnot but before we get to that story we got a little something special here our first story my mom's experience with the supernatural now not my mother no she saw bigfoot at one point allegedly she, but I remember whole, she told me about it like the first time I met her it's a whole other whole other thing with her but don't worry <laughs> this is someone else's mother and their experience would said supernatural okay again always stoked yeah don't know what we're getting into let's dive from anonymous anonymous thank you anonymous hey guys i'm email emailing emailing right off the gate <laughs> yeah, dude, right off the, just proving that you picked the right narrator <laughs> nice <laughs> boom we're keeping that in oh it stays baby oh man I'm emailing you to tell you about an experience my mom had with some family friends when she was 14 in Paris, California. That is not like the European city. That is P-E-R-R-I-S. This was back in the 80s, and my mom just turned 52 months ago. So um, so 80s is a theme in this, in this uh, week's mystery bag you pulled that together i did not oh my of all the things you considered no, you didn't consider no, era? i did not i did well, not consider the era look at you yeah wow. and their mother actually is like your age yes yeah and in the 80s you guys were in the 80s i was too i was a wee babins trying to hang out with you you, you, you guys are way too cool for me well you were a baby you weren't old enough to <laughs> hang out <laughs> i was a child and i wanted to be cool and you were like no like chris and i are like no like, weird like a, small like a, bearded boy a year or so apart but yeah, yeah. You, you got the eight year dip kid Bur- bro do. it's fine hey we let you in eventually it's fine whatever we got you we got you there it's fine i remember we drank oh. some wapatula right. you came in <laughs> bonded late in the thundercats era <laughs> yeah the wapatula oh we all bonded over that for sure oh my, my my poor van all right getting back to the story here so the story goes that my mom and her two friends both sisters one the same age as my mom and the other two years younger so depending on one of the 80s all teenagers i'm assuming yeah we're sitting on the couch in the home of my mom's friends watching the Twilight Zone, classic backdrop for the weird, when suddenly they heard a knock. They muted the television and it stopped, but when they unmuted it, it started again. This is when it got weird. They then saw a bright white light a little down the hallway by the boiler, clear as day, and the TV went to static at the same time. 
all three of them tilted over to get a good look and the ball started to swirl around and slowly a portal opened up. Ah, oh, no. welcome home to home portal. Welcome to high strangeness, boys. Oh, I love that. <laughs> I mean, and that's, again, that's like a Spielberg produced, it could have been an episode of Amazing Stories. It could have yeah, been a, 100%. A outtake yeah. from Poltergeist, like the TV goes static, the white, the white light, swirly but, light yeah, down yeah. the, you know, and you know, there's a wind machine blowing their big 80s hair, <laughs> right. willy nilly. So, <laughs> Motley the crew records in the background. <laughs> ah! The way my mom described it was like paradise with lush green trees and birds and waterfalls. So she actually saw through the portal. Oh, yeah. How weird is that? To an Edenic fucking splendor. Yeah. Strange. All of them were confused at first, and then they looked back at the TV to see three shadows walk out of the screen, all of them shifting with what looked to be chains hanging down onto the coffee table in front of them. So you you got your portal, then all of a sudden you get your shadow folks with chains. Coming out oh, of the TV. Yeah, All the, all the Christmas ghosts. Yeah, no, yeah, really. Marley. Thought, yeah, yeah, it was Jacob Marley, yeah. Oh, my God. This is crazy. Yeah, this, it's, it's, a, it's a little fucked up, man. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, then my mom and her friend, that were both 14, heard women's voices whisper in their ears, while the youngest of the three heard a man. All of them remember them saying, please help us. Save us from the masters. Man, once you get the plea, you got to be like, uh, well, for, yeah, who's the master? What are you talking well, about? They're, they're well, in like chains. the Doctor Who master? Yeah, well, that's what I was thinking. Is it like the Doctor Who? Is it Xenu? Like, what is it? But they're in chains. Is it some weird, like, esoteric prison of souls? They're in Florida, Scientology. Think about it. L. Ron Hubbard. Okay. They're in they're California. All there. Ah, shit, you're right. They they're are. in California. <laughs> Think about, oh. Scientology. Scientology, California. Yeah, they yeah. have, they have right. lodges out there. So, Florida. <laughs> <laughs> I am saved it. <laughs> going again with uh, like just the easiest out. I don't know if slavery made it to California or how prevalent it was. I know it was spread throughout the American West. Yeah, I'm not Obviously sure. throughout the South, you know, especially at the end. Um, you know, American slavery, a, a terrifying and terrible reality that happened. They are wearing chains. So you can't count out, I guess, slave ghosts. But... Are they trapped in some sort of nether time loop hell well, yeah. where they'd still be incarcerated? So why I guess yeah. I would dismiss it and jump on with the intergalactic fucking prison motif that you're embracing, Mark, is that it seems to be a present tense thing. Well, um, when they say paradise with lush green trees and birds and waterfalls. Yeah. But that doesn't necessarily, I mean, it might have something to do with with these things but these things didn't come they didn't come reason. through yeah they didn't come through the the portal they came through the tv yeah but you're right i mean that could represent uh, any separate, number of caribbean separate portal and ghost i mean two separate occasions that would be really weird that'd be fucking shit luck right if fucking there. tv ghost decided <laughs> yeah. to show up at the same, <laughs> the same time, time as the hallway the portal. portal look while hallway portal was here right. a sweet vacation look, wait but... a minute you check the itinerary because i think i was supposed to show up <laughs> yeah, yeah right <laughs> right that's what yeah no next that's, tuesday yeah. next tuesday that's the red tape of paranormal then yeah, they yeah. got to go to their superior and be like look sale <laughs> He's the manager of Paranormal. <laughs> yeah. Clearly, <laughs> my lush portal was supposed to go. Yeah. The, the 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 TV ghosts were supposed to wait. Yeah. They undercut the fuck out of me. Oh, 100%. Right. Yeah. All right. Well, a, let's, let's meet Save eat. us from the master. Where do we go from here, Robert? As soon as this happened, all three of them dived to the door to get away from these shadows and the hallway. And then they heard a loud bang and the portal was gone. And in its place, the whole hallway was darker than night. This happened in broad daylight. So that's kind of scary. Oh, so an abysmal darkness. Dude, portal, okay. portal bamps away and all of a sudden there's a darkness there. Like, uh, like a weird sh- Oh, that's so shadow. crazy. This is definitely high strangeness. Yeah, for sure. Or just high. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. See you next week. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it, eh? Fucking doobage, dude. <laughs> Without hesitation, my mom called my great grandmother and she put her on speaker and she prayed for 30 minutes. Oh, I don't know why you stayed in the house on a landline. So your grandma could pray. Yeah, man. It's like, I, I mean, unless you were you doing the rosary, were like, they like stuck in a room where they had to get past the the hall of eternal darkness and the weird TV ghost to like get out I, then find a window. I mean, it seems <sighs> odd. They're probably just freaked out and they're like, who do we call? Call grandma. She knows about the shit. Right. See what's up. And then 
I'm sorry, great grandmother. Yeah. Well, go it's, back a couple it's of generations. The, it's the narrator's great grandmother, but it would be her mother's so her grandmother. Mother, yeah. 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 So yeah, so call Graham Graham, dude. She knows what's up. I guess it worked because my mom told me the house went completely silent afterwards. And I, I guess that's the whole of it. Probably the scariest story I've ever heard, a mix of ghosts and high strangeness. But thank you guys, seriously. One of, if not the best paranormal podcasts in the world. You guys always make my day listening to y'all joke around and talk shit. I love every second of it. Thank you. Oh, well, thank you, Anonymous. Ooh. Now, they do leave us here, Robert, with a little bit of a postscript. Mm-hmm. P.S. There were other experiences, and they all started after the pool was built in the backyard of the house. The construction guys, who probably never saw a horror movie in their life, found a chest buried 10 feet underground in the backyard and had the nerve to open it up and go up to the family and ask, Is this yours? Did you bury it? Complete dumbasses so there is Ooh. apparently 10 feet in the ground some sort of what's in the chest. fucking chest dude you never what's in the box the, you never open the chest i want the, so when i whatever happened here with the ghosts right in the portal i'm wondering is that tied to whatever this chest is well apparently it was opened and discovered previous to all these events including the one I we just if talked this about this is at the epicenter of it though so a dybbuk like pandora-esque box in which preternatural fuck alls come out and do whatever the hell they do could be i would love to know what was in the box no same like if it was yeah, empty if did the winds howl once it was open did it have <laughs> yeah. bones right <laughs> that's what i mean archaic books <laughs> just a book a rod yeah was it the ark oh my god oh dude where they found the ark i mean they didn't but that would be cool well the guy didn't even know he was like oh is this yours did you bury it which i guess you know, I mean, maybe back in the day, people bury money in their backyard and shit like that. Maybe, you know, tossing it out there. But I don't know, man. So with the incident that happened in the house with the portal in the go, it's like I was curious as to like what the like what sparked that? Because in the story, there's no mention of anything happening. It's just all of a sudden you're watching the Twilight Zone and you get the portal and then you get the ghosts coming out at you. I'm all the time saying, yeah. um, and, you know, we, we all say it. Don't conflate things just because they happen in the same, you know, geographic and temporal frame. Right. But in this case, it almost has to be related. It's too quick. It's way too close. So if the portal's over here, see and then the ghosts light, are right here, though. The that's TV like... goes static. It opens like is is this like their way to liberation? Is this like like literally oh, freedom? Are they trying to get into the portal through the portal? <gasps> oh. And why are they asking people for help? Like usually things from the other side uh, be they interdimensional the undead whatever the fuck they may be demonic you know would that would take it off the board i guess in terms of wanting help um they seem to have the edge on us like they know a little more they you know they're they're looking at things from a more all encompassing you know viewpoint to have them come and just ask like three fucking two 14 year olds and a 12 year old for help yeah with chains dangling from their like fucking shadow person, you know, bodies and, and, and like, you know, fucking please help us, you know, save us from the master or, or whatever it was exactly. Yes, exactly yeah. that. Um, that to me is like, you, you are in a seriously desperate way. And then it, as always happens, there's no explanation. They, they don't say like, say these words, right. do this thing. You know, tap our chains three times. Hey, we mallet. died X amount of years ago, and this guy was a real asshole, and we're we're bound to this ground now, and we're trying to get into this portal, but we can't. In all fairness, yeah. the 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 little girls did not wait for them to elaborate if they were going to. No, they're they, smart. They got the fuck out of Dodge, and then a constant stream of grandma prayer put a kibosh on the yeah, whole thing. Thirty minutes of grandma, great grandma. I like how great Graham shows up and just and just does it. That's great. But I think. What's every bit is haunting to me, besides the fact that this is very early shadow person sighting and the chains are such a, you know, a classic vintage image of the undead, almost so much so that you'd almost consider it fictional. But what really gets me is, um, you know, a, a portal ripping through, uh, uh, you know, in Edenic paradise and then that fucking you know, ungodly shadowy hallway as if it all got once like it bamps this, yeah. away, like like yeah. just the light gets sucked out of reality. Which goes against all the laws of physics. Well, yeah. The portal is really interesting, too, because it's not like just some weird white, you know, circle that you can walk in. You can see through it. 
Right. You can yeah. see that there's something on the other side, which is described to me as being like a, like a tropical like landscape. I'd be interested to know if they had any other details on that. Well, is in my mind like a pterodactyl? You know, was well, that would by, be fantastic. Like, yeah. Or, or, like or were they the like lost type shit? Those yep. crazy metal birds from Mel's Hole. Did they look like <gasps> typical tropical birds? Oh yeah, that's right. Mm. The, those weird, those goofy ass. Were they good like bulletproof birds? Or were they thinking bulletproof werewolves? I think both. There were definitely bulletproof birds. Well, I think the bullet pr- the bullet bulletproof wolves were from Skinwalker. Maybe I'm thinking. Yeah, there was okay, yeah. like a dire wolf that they shot 1,100 times and it just walked away. As dire wolves want to do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah, is this an earthly paradise or is this another world? Yeah, they man, don't mention I, like dude, pink skies. No, and blue I know. Trees. But I, yeah. I, I was going to like time travel, and then I was going to like. At some weird dimensional beings trapped between worlds and like you mean know, like the master like Chris saying like Doctor Who I started getting all Doctor Who with it for some reason and I'm like no Mark Doctor Who's not real <laughs> as much as you love David Tennant Doctor Who is not real yeah but I mean the portal was just a portal I at know the, at the, the end of the day like, like nothing yeah it just was there you can see through it and then go okay yeah bye it, nothing came, yeah the the but the did, ghost from the TV did. did the master put the kibosh on the portal I don't know was yeah, it their way know. out yeah. and was the darkness that permeated the corridor following its disappearance was that brought on by the master being fully aware that there was an escape plan being yeah. hatched yeah maybe the master who is the master what could the master be the devil <gasps> I mean maybe well, well, how would there be a portal that Oh, to paradise. I mean, why not? Who's to say it's not heaven? Nirvana. That's true. This, you know, you know, this place of, you know, glorious long life and painless existence that yeah. almost all religions say exist if you live a noble life. Waterfalls. Sure. Dude, you don't need go, a waterfall. Don't go chasing them, dog. Yeah. Yeah. 2LC. <laughs> R.I.P. <Dude. laughs> so there is Anonymous. Thank you so very much for that awesome it's, story. It's there. crazy. It's, it's creepy. It's super weird, man. It's, um, it's just, it's very rarely do you get a portal and you get yeah, ghosts. It's just one of those side. things. It's like, you know, there's not more info. Maybe she has more info. She doesn't say, want to remember. They could all have been high as fuck. They, I mean, it, it who is, knows? You know, possibly. Okay. So skeptics. And you got, what, a bunch of teen girls watching Twilight Zone. Skeptically speaking, though, what could have happened that they fucking would know, have mistaken man. this and they freaked the fuck out? I mean, besides, like Chris suggested, drug abuse. I mean, <laughs> yeah. there, I mean, mass hysteria. To with hallucinate three people, like I don't that hard know. for three people to hallucinate that hard, though. And that's like well, I actually that's all you need is one things one to hallucinate and be like the fuck, and then everyone just kind of is there with you, you know. That's true. I mean, if it was just the mother experiencing this, but then you'd think, you know, she'd point out, and then my little sister and our friend didn't you know have right. the same experience like they didn't see it but i saw it all clearly that's not how the story is told True. so you have to assume all three were witnesses yeah hmm. and and then they were there for a half hour so i mean i guess what i would ask is uh for anonymous for oh, i need to know what's in that goddamn chest you know well, yeah was, man yeah they, they gotta i mean it, I, it, I need it elaboration open, on this so like what's in there dude some weird skull a crown yeah, I mean, a dagger, sure, multiple, crown, multiple daggers. Treasure of the probably four crowns. ants. <laughs> it's ants. But, however, potato ants bugs. Dirt. Yeah, oh, roly polies. Yep. Yeah, roly polies, dude. A chest full of leeches. And then I need to Worms. know. Worms. In the half <laughs> hour. Snoogs. Jesus Christ. Of prayer. <laughs> um, what transpired? Like yeah, they we, said the house right. went silent, but noise wasn't really an issue except for when there was the bang. Yeah. So. Okay, the house went silent after 30 minutes of prayer, yeah. but like, did the hallway regain illumination? Did the Twilight Zone come back on? Did the shadows right. bearing chains walk back into the TV or just dissipate? dissipate? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, they don't really say what happens to the shadows or the chains. Right. There's like a loud bang and the portal's gone, and then I'm assuming at that point everything kind of disappears. So, hmm, interesting. It's I, interesting. I would love to know more, but as it sure. stands, it's very intriguing. I do enjoy the mix, though, as they say here, of ghosts and high strangeness. It's a rarity of a very, and you're not ever going to portal where you get to see what's on the other side, man. Yeah. I like mean, it's you, there. You, you do in Stardust. Like, throw, oh, it's true, you do. True. Yeah, oh, Roman, yeah, there was Roman like, empires. There was Roman, and, yeah, there was like Roman centurions in there. And Native or Americans and all what, sorts now, of crazy what shit. What wasn't there? <laughs> yeah, no, you're right. <laughs> yeah. Right? That, that's the fucking question. <laughs> At one point, Cybertron was there. But I feel like, like stuff like this, as with fucking Stardust, it's like, I feel like it's the land. So I feel like, if anything, that maybe that chest has something to do with it. I mean, that's just part of the whole fucking thing, whatever the land was on. But yeah. I feel like that's more of a. So we definitely need a follow up here. Yeah. We we need to know the two questions I previously asked, and 
uh, you know, the, 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 the little hint there, what are some of the other paranormal events? Oh yeah. I, I, we would like to know. And yeah, I know, I guess actually, Chris, that's definitely a, a, an yeah. excellent point. Do any that. of those three have experienced stuff before? Right. And is this all based strictly around this property? Yeah. Is this a mini, um, Stardust Ranch? <laughs> Aren't <Could> they all? It <laughs> could be, man. It very well could be. So exciting. Uh, I can't wait to learn more, uh, but it's it's definitely one of those ones where you, you get that little taste and you're like, God yeah, damn. you're like, damn, I need to know some more information. Hell All right, yeah. man. Moving on to our second story here. Um, well, I, I won't even go with the title. I'm just going to let you do this. Fair enough. Hey, guys, my name is Al. I currently live in Ohio, but I grew up in New York State, and this is my real experience while at college. Maybe this would be good for an Evil Science and Magic Buddies episode. Well, indeed it is. Yes. Now, as I mentioned previously, there are going to be some pictures associated with the story, which Al gave us full permission to use. I'm going to blur faces out. I might put like emojis over them or something uh, to, 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 to pr protect the, the innocent or what are they? So, yeah, protect the, sure. the identity of the innocent. The presumed innocent. The presumed innocent. Um, so, uh, and again, you can check that out at CryptonautPodcast.com. photos are the most 80s thing oh, I, love I, them. I have ever seen. Fucking I love more than anything. Really the second photo isn't the best photo because I had almost all those posters. Yes, I do. Oh, yeah. Oh, There's well, only one of them I did not have. We will get there, but it is it is pretty cool. But again, you can go to CryptonautPodcast.com. You can check these photos out and we will have them on Instagram. Robert, without further ado. Good, sir. These events took place in Alfred, New York. I've partied there. Have you guys ever partied at Alfred? I no. actually wrote back to Alan and told him that, yeah, like in the 2000s, I definitely partied there because I knew a couple of dudes went to college there. Yeah, I did not know anyone. I was probably, I mean, I had a buddy that went there in 90, so I might have been partying there when Al and buddies were there. Oh, well, this is- I well, might have partied with Al. Well- For all I know. Time frame here, where it's around like 89. 88, 89. Yeah. But so, 90 is not that far away. That's true. And, and I was definitely there in like the early 2000s, like shortly after I turned So 21. you, in fact, did not party with Al. No, I did not party with Al. But Rob may have, and then I was there a few years later. Can't count it out. It's true. Spiritually, we're all connected mm -hmm. by the, by way of Alfred University. Wow. So he that none of us attended. <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> Just alcohol poisoning. A very small rural town about 90 minutes south of Rochester. The event started during my sophomore year at Alfred University, which was from August 1988 to May 1989. Alfred University is a very small college that was founded in 1843. Being so close to the southern New York border, it was essentially almost northern Pennsylvania. Although the area saw no direct military action in the Civil War, one of its buildings, the Brick Dining Hall, was used as a hospital during that war. It's interesting. Yeah. Although the university may not approve, the specific location was in the sophomore suites in the Crawford Building in Suite G. Each suite had three bedrooms, a bathroom, a kitchenette, and a small common area. Each bedroom had two beds, so it was me and my five buddies in this quasi apartment. I do enjoy how these how, how they like laid these out. I think that Wells College had kind of a similar layout as well. Yeah, I partied and, there a lot yeah, too. And, it was pretty cool. It was like a cool like little. The, unless you got like a common area, you're like I'm going to go to the kitchen, get some beers, and then pass the fuck out. Yeah, <laughs> a lot of good times. Oh, for sure. especially when it was a girls' school. Oh, hot damn. Yeah, a buddy of mine, uh, his sister went there, and we'd go there uh, on like on the spring break to like go party there, and it was super fun. Always remember fun. that the food was fucking unbelievably good. I never the food ate was there. awesome. Right, he had like a, like a cafeteria pass, and I was vegetarian at the time, so I got this girl to give me like her fucking vegetarian slash vegan pass, and I just ate a shitload of food, mostly cheese and bread. Hey, mostly cheese and bread, cheese oh. sandwiches, cheese sandwiches, <laughs> the constipation <laughs> diet of the vegetarian. That's how, that's how you partied. <laughs> well, I drank the fuck. I drank a fuck a bunch of beers too, but hence my little man titties. Oh boy, <laughs> oh. I was great. Macro loggers and cheese sandwiches. <laughs> I was great to fuck crop top, dude. <laughs> this this makes me feel like if I didn't party with Al, I wish I had. Yeah, I recall. That Suicidal Tendencies' latest album, How Will I Laugh Tomorrow When I Can't Even Smile Today, had just come out and it was playing in the cassette deck almost 24-7. Yeah, that that's classic. is oh, a yeah. fucking banger, dude. When I look back over 30 years, a few things that happened may have had alternative explanations, but there were a couple of things I still find impossible to explain. Every weekend was about hanging out with good friends, trying to impress the girls, and enjoying alcohol. <laughs> 
fucking college, baby. I mean, yeah. yeah. I mean, we didn't need to go there to have the same experience, but boy, it would have helped. It was in this environment that our friend circle got heavily involved with the Ouija board. Oh, oh this is when the no. dark arts come in, dude. Not only do you got Mike Muir, you got the fucking dark arts. <laughs> dude, how dope is that? We just saw Sue was that not that long ago with the misfits. Yeah, it was a pile of well, a handful of years ago now. Was it really? Oh, I guess it was. So to me it seems like yesterday. But we got to see him. I that was like no, actually I saw the Did he still time. have the bandana like down to the bridge of his oh, nose? Fuck yeah, dude. Yeah. Dude, Damn. So he does good. a little troll dance around the stage. <laughs> oh, yeah. Dude. He always he's did. Still yeah. Beating of the hill. He'll like walk to the guitar player and do the troll dance right in front of him. <laughs> yeah. and, and, then, <laughs> and then meander to the other side and do a troll dance in front of somebody else. Oh, Nothing changed. I fucking love Mike Muir, dude. He is the best. Actually, I saw him years ago at like Warp Tour in Buffalo. It was so long ago. And uh, oh, that was probably in the 90s. I think I was in high school, like 97, 98. Damn. Yeah, I saw him there. It was pretty dope. Still. Gifts of the Magi, Gold Frankenstein, right, man. and Mike Muir. Mike Muir, Mike Muir oh, yeah. in the dark arts, dude. Okay. So this is amazing. We would spend hours on that board, mostly with nothing exciting happening, until all of our Ouija sessions would end up du- turning into, excuse me, a session that ended connecting with something that kept spelling out the words cut, 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 cut it's weird it's dark you don't want the ouija board to keep spelling that no no of course we ended up naming our spirit friend cut cut i mean the it's in the name dude yeah <laughs> like, it's not like what's cut cut up to i don't know is it fucking stab stab no it's cousin this is fucking cut, cut. it's all it's cut cut yeah it almost makes it cute saying it twice ah <sighs> Like repeating know. cut, cut, cut is disturbing. But when you call know. it, it's good old cut, cut. It's cut, cut. Yeah. Well, Come on. you're, you're going to get a. A little dose of something <laughs> that'll change my mind. Yeah. A little reality <laughs> kick. Yeah. Yeah. In these sessions, it described itself as a nine foot tall skeletal figure with pinchers that it would use to dismember each of us in the future. Oh. Okay. Yeah, it all changes sudden, everything. All of a sudden, cut, cut's not so cool. Yeah, but they <laughs> I picture that actually being hilarious. It's like, what's your name? Cut, 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 cut. What do you do? Dismember you in the future. <laughs> I don't know why you typed it, but. Yeah, dude, just that poor plan chat having to fly around like, is the spelling the dismember? Dismember when? Future. Oh, God. <laughs> and Jesus. It's, it's like, oh. um, oh, that pow- Powder Puff Girls uh, villain. Oh, pa- um, oh, Power Puff Girl? Yeah, yeah. It's him. Oh, my him, yeah. yeah. Him, yes. Yeah. Love him. Yeah, yeah. Him oh, he was rules. one of the greatest with like the big puffy <laughs> collar <laughs> and, 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 and the metal claws. Yeah. Powder Puff Girls, Jesus I, Christ. <laughs> yeah. I actually drew a picture of that dude and I fucking, it was so yeah, you, fun. Yes, you did. It was awesome. I did a whole like yeah. Power Puff Girl series. My bad. Uh, but anyway, that's how I see like these mechanic claws on yeah. a fucking skeletal figure that's flaming for some reason. I added that. It's not necessary. No. I mean, when you're a nine foot skeleton with pinchers for hands and your your pastime is dismemberment. I mean. In the future. In the future. You can't yeah. be bothered <laughs> right now. Hilarious, man. I don't know. It's funny to me. L continues. Of course, we laughed at it and challenged it to do so. It said it couldn't kill us right away. But gave us dates when it would when it would do so to each of us. Yeah, see. Oh shit, scheduling. <laughs> Dude. Can't do it right now, but yeah, like February. But then when it, when it gives my sister's it, getting married, I when got it shit gives going you on. a date though, you're like, ah shit, cut cut's gonna get fucking Bobby first, man. Oh, you laugh until like it gets to be cut cut Eve. Yeah, and then you're like, fuck, <laughs> cut cut Eve. <laughs> then it's on. You oh, know? then you're then you're just fucking freaking out. Okay. We were such wise asses, we even put the dates on a dry erase board in the room to see if the predicted dates would come true. We realized later that it just gave us the month and day, but never the year. So I guess it could still come true in the future. Oh, curse of the cut. I cut. know, not the year. Come it, on. It would man. get worse yeah. as time went on. Hey, dude, if, 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 if it's just like, you know, February 7th, you're just going to be like, fuck, every year's coming up. You're going to be freaking out, man. It's, it's almost more effective than giving you a, a, an actual like, a Oh, year. absolutely. Every year you're freaking out, man. Even if this is in the 80s, you're still, Al probably still freaking out about it. I mean, he might not give a fuck. Chances are if he's rational, well, he yeah. doesn't. But if it was somebody like me, like, you know, the hubris of a 19-year-old will carry you a long way, but, like, you start getting a little older, it's like, May 19th. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's going down. Cut, cut day. <laughs> you should never leave the house. You just 
you know, sit there with weapons. And- yeah, or on, on that day, you just it, it's it, it's your own purge. You just got to barricade yourself in and get ready. I mean, do you like pie that's armor? How, that's how the that's how the uh, the carbon monoxide gets you. Ooh, the slow gas leak. Wow. Yeah. Slow gas penetrates the shield, dude. dude fucking a, it does. <laughs> <laughs> fucking christ during this time frame i had taken pictures of some of the guys in the apartment with one of those 35 millimeter kodak cameras it took a couple of months to get those pics developed can you imagine i remember those days when you'd find oh, like dude, a random roll going to Ecker yeah, and, and, and waiting forever yeah. exactly and then you'd wait to see if any of them came out oh, then you yes. barely remember what was taken yeah then one of your friends would like throw in a random dick pic before it was like a fucking thing and, and there was get, no phrase for it the guy the fucking dude Eckert's pissed oh never happy yeah no but they're please. always making doubles of shady shit like I, if you knew anyone that developed photos don't i mean once upon a time unless you owned a dark room if you took like dirty photos of no, your that's significant right, other that's like, it went there but i assure you there was always a copy made that job must have been an absolute nightmare you probably saw some it's shit. crazy that you that's pro- how you, you had to do things you probably <laughs> saw some <laughs> like, really fucking terrible shit just giving all your personal pictures to some yeah. fucker, and they have to like make you know, or pictures. you're like, oh, you like, know, it's 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 the little Johnny's uh, birthday, or oh, it's Deborah's graduation. Well, like, you know, you get fun moments of someone's life, but then there's probably some really really terrible the shit. The funniest part is probably so much of it happened on the same roll, because then later that night, mom and dad get drunk, and like you know, I, you know, her friend sally's over and they you know have a three-way and all of a sudden it's like you know six-year-old's birthday party weird fucking <laughs> right something fucking eight tips. sweaty fucking <laughs> mayhem that they should have got the polaroid for but they didn't they were already drunk you'd think that you it. would not bring that to phase to get it developed you'd be like no we're just gonna you know do this one but everyone i knew who developed Man. photos and that's a full three people oh in my entire I life i knew one person all of them said oh it like you, you're weekly, yeah. you're getting really, you're getting buff or hardcore or whatever. Wow, yeah. How do you when someone comes to get those pictures? How do you like look them straight in the face? Like nice balls. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I mean, obviously they know what's on there. They don't care. And that's true. Uh, so. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, there isn't zero. There's zero privacy with that. Yeah, you can't expect that to even be a thing. No, no. But that's yeah. the way it was for a long time. A long, yeah, long time. Was. Yeah, there you go, kids, with your iPhones and your iClouds and your pictures. Not us. No. No. I took pictures of myself skateboarding with one of those time release things, and I was fucked it up. Oh, Can yeah. You never get the camera to work right. Pictures are so disposable Trying now. Trying to ollie over the camera, broke the camera. That if you look even slightly quirky, people just instantly get them, instantly erase them. Like some of my favorite photos, uh, uh, an art form that's dead is just random family photos where there's always someone chain smoking, somebody else screaming. Oh, yeah. Some weird yep. shit, like all sorts of detritus and ashtrays around, and it's like, oh, that brings you right back to childhood. Like- I don't know if candid weird shots. It's all going to be like close-ups of people, duck faces, and fucking, I don't know. I'm not being like grumpy old man. It's just like the weird <laughs> random shot shit. It, right. And people tend to throw that stuff away because they're not posed yeah, right. Or just three people on a checkered couch with a shitty wood panel. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> right. Half, <laughs> half obscured by the smoke. Some awesome like some <laughs> man figures on the floor. Some awesome Jesus painting. But speaking of photos, Robert, we We're, have to we, see what photo yes. came So this development. Getting back on point, it took a couple of months to get those pics developed. When eventually developed, there was what looked like a skeletal arm and a claw in the photo. I have attached below a digital picture of a, that photo. All right, let's, let's yes. visit. These will be again at CryptonotPodcast.com. Oh, yeah. So You know what that mm, is right there? That's cut cut. That's cut cut right there, <laughs> dude, in the photo, dude. <laughs> oh that my is God. for future <laughs> dismemberment. Dude, I absolutely knew these guys. I mean, not literally, but I knew so many oh, for of sure. those guys. Yeah, a hundred percent, hundred percent. Holy shit! And all right, so I just thought something dank. Like before I read the story, I had no idea what was going on. I just looked at the dudes. But now that I see this fucking skeletal arm and weird bony pincher yeah. aglow, I mean, yeah, somebody could say, "Oh, it's the camera strap." They want to be dicks. Well, I mean, being uh, being a 38, um, uh, so th- I'm going to say this does not fall into orb territory because that thing is clearly present in the picture. Yeah. Now, smoke. Well, he we'll we'll we'll, we'll continue and then we'll we'll get back to the picture. Okay. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. 
fucking wow. Yeah. One day, me and one friend were in the apartment talking, and the temperature plunged so low we could literally see our breath. Reminds me of the time Chris and I almost died. <laughs> oh, yeah, with Spider-Man. In the, in the just, house of the window, Frankenstein. Like, Forced me to cast a spell. Are, are we dying? <laughs> That's what Chris, Chris literally looked at me, and we're just watching a movie, and it gets. And it's like, I feel like we we both woke up. I feel yeah. like we passed out. Yeah, we sort of passed out. <laughs> we were ah, from done. hypothermia, and also I was like, um, "Are we are we dying?" <laughs> yeah, I'm like I don't know, man. It's fucking cold. <laughs> Huh? Oh, it's so weird. Uh, so, yeah, no, I, I feel your pain, man. All right, man, Al can see his breath, dude. The outside temperature was in the 80s. Oh, so it's not even shit. like winter. No, dude. The window was open and there was no AC. Dude, so the, you, you, cut, cut came in with the coldness, dude. Wow. Yeah, he's too cold, too cold, son. I mean, it's cut, cut. Yeah, it's cut, <laughs> like cut, cut. What are you going to do? Up. Ice fucking cold. <laughs> yeah, dude. The events peaked one night as my girlfriend and I were alone. We were just sitting up in bed with both of our backs against pillows by the headboard, talking, listening to the radio, and sitting in the dark room. The room became extremely cold with a heaviness in the air. From the left wall of of the bedroom, this quote-unquote thing emerged through the wall. It was luminescent, and it looked like when, on the original Star Trek series, someone was being energized on the transporter. It was white roughly human shaped in in that it was excuse me taller than it was wide it was definitely not a reflection on the far wall like would be made with headlights coming through a window the one window in the room against the woods and not looking out on the street it was clearly in the center of the room and not reflected against the far wall. Ah, dude, fucking luminescent person appears. And it's only, I mean, he's not even saying it's humanoid, just that it's human shaped. Well, I mean, taller than it is wide. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what that, I mean, I know what that means, but. Right. I don't know. You know, I don't know how to translate. I know that. he does say roughly human shaped. Well, in that it was taller than it is wide. So I, yes. I, I you know, I guess like when it, it yeah. the. You know, the teleporter is doing its thing. You just get the vague outline. Yeah, yeah, right. Totally. Right. It It's fucking crazy. I've always described it as sparkly, but have since heard a couple accounts of people seeing ghosts that called them looking like static when a TV channel used to go off late, late at night in the old days. And that is a pretty good description. So staticky. Okay. Weird. Ghost dude. Wow. Coming through the coming through your wall, baby. Which again brings it back to the last case of like the TV going out, static on the TV, shadowy figures emerging. I can draw parallels occasionally. Dude, did you intend that one? No. God damn it. What was <laughs> oh, what yeah. was, it what was, was your ghosts, theme? man? Ghosts. Jesus Christ. Okay, that's, 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 that's really vague. That's really vague. Dude, you got you got you got oh decades. I was like eighties. I'm um, giving you so much TVs. credit. Yeah, no. Static. I went for ghosts, brah. I went for ghosts. Christ. Okay. I go for broad I I go for broad concepts, man. I'm not trying to land a fucking shuttle on the moon, alleged moon, dude. I'm just trying to fuck get some shit together and be like, what do these got in common? Ghosts. Wow. Yeah, welcome to my mind, dog. Fair this enough. is how we roll. Okay. No one would fucking fly a shuttle to the moon, but that's neither here nor there. And the moon is not alleged, but I don't have time right <laughs> if you're now. You're gonna believe in it. Oh, you fucker. Whatever. It never ends. Yeah. We're doing a moon pod. Hope you're happy. I mean, bring it. It doesn't mean I'm going to believe Full in it. Full fucking moon. And you know, it's not even going to be paranormal. It's just going to be science about the goddamn moon. <laughs> yeah, the moon is just made of ghosts. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Dude, it's, fucking wolves. Well, werewolves on the moon, dude. Think about ghosts. it. Dude. Yeah. There's a lot. I do want to do the spaceship moon. Okay. I, know, I do too. I know I'm falling apart here. Yeah. And that one, remember when that dude went inside and it was full of like rotting corpses that stank? Dude. Oh, you made me read that story All once. Right. It was super long and it was weird. It was weird. Okay. All right. Well, what is All this right. human shape We're doing? Back here. We've got this humanoid. Static, which also goes back to uh, the Telegean, that old, uh, I think it was a Toho film where a guy can turn himself into TV static. It's from the 1960s. Oh, okay. Oh, and go through, that. like, I don't know, power lines and shit, like an early shocker, like an early Horace like, Pinker. Yeah, like an early shocker. And, and fucking murder people. Cool. Okay. I think it was Yushio Tushia, but I don't know. Anyway, enough digressions. Um, looks like this creature's energizing through. It is not light reflecting on the wall there are no lights that could come through anyway because the one window faces the forest yep i'm assuming it's wood paneling but who the fuck knows and um and so i'm moving on it bobbed up and down a bit 
as it glided across the width of the room. It was about five feet tall and two feet wide and never touched the ground or the ceiling. Keep in mind, the entire bedroom was about 14 feet long by 10 feet wide, so midway in the room was only about seven feet away from our heads. We both watched it for about 10 seconds as it floated across the 10-foot width of the bedroom and went into the opposite wall. For all my bluster and toughness, I literally was the first one running out of that bedroom. Yeah. As dude, I, there's no time for chivalry, dude. You got to save yourself. Not, not when real terror is a No, dude. You're in college. You're a young man. You're fine. There's other girls. It's okay. To, Let her die. I mean, you probably aren't going to be dating her long. No, it's fine. After Women that. love it when you run from danger. Oh, yeah. No, it's the <laughs> sexiest thing you could do. They're like, he's so he's the best. He's so understanding. I mean, I think I would try to get her out first. I think I have enough of the chivalry in me. Yeah. I know it's considered archaic, but sometimes you just gotta pick him up and push him. Be like, go, right. move. Oh yeah, I'm not saying <laughs> that go, they go, wouldn't go. get bruised up. I'm not yeah. saying I just hook him up under the arm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 Like, we gotta go. I'm not saying it'd be pretty. And yeah. there'd be a lot of terror in my there heart. Or you just run out of the room. And you close the door. You're like, all right, you're fine in there. Don't worry. Let me know what happens. Tell <laughs> 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 me <Somebody> later. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'll see you in chemistry if you're not dead. I'll see you in chemistry. <laughs> All right, so I literally was the first one running out of the bedroom as I leapt out of the bed across my girlfriend and was the first noping the hell out of there. Not my finest hour. At least he owns it. I mean, it happens to us all, man. Sure. We did spend the night in her room. I'm surprised she let you in and (laughs) talked about the experience and we agreed we saw the same thing. Okay. Definitely an awesome part of the experience is that it did come out of the wall near an acre's Jesus Christ, <laughs> Christ Almighty! Oh, acres, <laughs> read much. Ah. Acres high, my <laughs> acres favorite, high. my favorite Iron Man. Where they, where they wow. had farm songs, yeah. And, you know about yeah. plowing and just rotating a field of corn. Fields. And Eddie's head is just like <laughs> just on a, on a sunflower. <laughs> acres, acres he's, high. He's like a scarecrow. <laughs> live to plow. Thank you. Plow to live. Plow. <laughs> so Do or die. I'm sorry, Al. <laughs> acres uh, high. I'm so <laughs> sorry to all of our listeners. I'm so a- shy. Acres there goes high. the tractor that was up. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? Oh, man. That only works if you know the song. <sighs> oh, shit. <laughs> let's, let's, let's bring it back. Uh, if you don't know, oh. if you don't know Ace is High or is Rob's mm. Acre Side, go Holy listen shit. to them right now on Spotify. Okay, so what happened again here so we can An figure awesome out? awesome part of the experience is okay. that it did come out of the wall near an Aces High poster and went through a Judas Priest poster. Oh. Priest, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <Bruh>. <laughs> Judas Priest. It's like a fucking compact it's car. It's like your mouth is like rejecting metal. I don't metal. know what's happening. Oh, man. It is kind of dope, though, that it comes out of Eddie and then it goes into fucking... I wonder what fucking Helford. What priest there? I is don't know. A, I don't see any. There is a picture. Um, I I see the. I can see the ace. Oh no. Oh yeah. I the Refer to photos at this point. Well, this is late eighties. So let me. Oh, that's God. not aces high, Eddie. Though that's there's somewhere in time, and then I think that's another. Or no, yeah. No, that no. one's a two minutes to midnight. No, there's two minutes to midnight, and then there's uh, uh, power slave. Power slave. Seventh son, and then yeah. the trooper. Yeah. Huh, so I guess we can't see where the. I wonder. Oh, so what wall would the other? Oh, okay. Other wall. Gotcha. Still kind of metal. Dude, the ghost comes out of Eddie and into Judas. I wonder what Judas Priest it was, though, man. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, man, like, like the one for like a, like, um, uh, man, it's so like screaming for vengeance. It's fucking sweet eagle. Could dude. be. Or like live, where he's just leather daddy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Dude, totally. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Leather daddy. All right, man. So, yeah. Okay, he, Al. Yep. He says, Attached in the document is a picture of the room, although the angle doesn't show the specific posters ah, that were closer to the foot of the bed. And that's fair because this didn't happen yesterday and he's taking photos with his iPhone. Right. This is a photo from 30 something years ago that just happens to be of the room. There you go. And after that experience, nothing. No bleeding walls, no scratches on people's bodies. It just stopped. The school year ended soon after. Summer happened. We all went back to our respective homes, and it was like hitting a hard reset. We stopped playing with the Ouija board and just moved on with life. 
The paranormal has always been an interest to me. I love the TV shows and podcasts, but definitely no Ouija board is allowed in my house. And I tell my two daughters to leave that stuff alone. So there Ooh, is a haunting. There, okay. Elle remembers. Oh, yeah. No, he's like, don't fuck with that shit. Although secretly wish they do not. So maybe they could have a cool experience like mine just to know there is so much more to our world than what we deal with day to day. So I guess in the end, maybe not so haunted. Because even though he's trying to protect his kids, as all good dads do, he's also well, sort of wishing yeah, but they he, had yeah. it. But yeah. what, what he experienced wasn't overtly dangerous. Yeah, until Cut Cut shows up. Well, well Cut Cut was in the picture just giving you, like, with his. if you look at the little claw, he's like giving him a warning, like, Cut Cut. <laughs> yeah, cut, dude, cut, that cut, cut, dude, that claw is I, I don't fucking know, dope, man. dude. I mean, all right, let's. Right, <laughs> that is 100% it, irrefutable proof of Cut Cut. It's right there. You that can could see him. very easily be the camera strap. That, how is it a strap? It's white and flowing around. When a fucking flash bulb hits any why would the camera strap be in front of the of the You've never like been that. a drunk dumb fuck held a camera and then the the strap mm, went i think you're trying to lens. discount cut cut i'm not denying the cut, Dude, cut tonight when you're not sleeping and you're laying there and you're kicking your leg and all of a sudden there's a weird bony pincer going cut 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 near your near your knee He's going to fix it for Near you. Near your wow. knee. He's going to fix it for you. He's going to go in there. He's going to take I, all that shit out of there. That, that would be great. Cut, cut. I mean, that really Dr. Cut, cut, cut. Dr. <laughs> cut, cut. Fucking MD. <laughs> now, so, guys, all right. I had to throw it, that out there because we always smoke. address. It could possibly be smoke. I don't think it's smoke. It's, yeah, that's it's way I think too, the dude's actually too solid. smoking in the picture. He is, but, yeah, but that does not look like smoke. That shape is really, yeah. It is, you know, that, okay, you're right. The, the thing about this, and I obviously believe this is cut, cut. <laughs> within my heart this is cut cut it is very defined and it, it is and it's odd very close it's, to the lens and it's very and it's also very it's it's definitely it is which also poses a problem because i feel like it, it's that close if you brought that back farther to where they were that's i feel like that would would not be big at all but right you know what i'm saying in like, all fair if, i, I if, do know what you're saying I mean, just but because if, of the depth of field yes right Unless it is farther away from the camera and it's out of focusness, it's just the ephemeral nature of interdimensional slash undead pincher having skeletons. Are you using Mark logic? I'm using Mark logic. Yeah, cool. yeah, cool. yeah. I'm, I'm just I'm, making sure. I'm playing. You're, you're doing the, yeah. <laughs> you're doing the thing. Baby Mark advocate. <laughs> I'm trying to show up for you. I appreciate it. That could be the spectral glow of a skeletal pincher. But he's supposed but to be nine foot. He's a nine foot tall close. skeleton. Well, it would. It's big. I mean, or, or it's either really small and close to the camera, well, likely, the, well, <laughs> or it's very big, blurry, and far away. Well, yeah, because it's kind of hard to tell. Like you can see where dude here has his leg on the couch, which I'm pretty sure my grandparents own that same couch. I'm almost positive. But yeah, that's the standard checker did. sort of ish. Yeah, like, it sucked to sleep on. It was oh, terrible. Yeah. It was as painful. Um, so I want you can kind of sort of see it's kind of like interacting with the shit in the background a little bit because it looks like there's like a light behind it. It's really hard to see. I can't. Oh, my. I mean, I don't I don't see it. that. I just see something no, there, that is there, close to the lens because it's, like it's really out of focus light back there. It is weird, though, that it's that it looks like a pincer. A what I pincer. see, it, it is weird. I'm trying to think of like if it wasn't focus, what could it be? I mean, it still looks like something with that shape, but like camera strap. Like the hoop of it. I don't know, man. Let out but white, white because like of that? the light. But I mean, you can, it's also transparent. You can see behind yeah, but I don't it. know if the flash would hit it if it's that fucking close. I can, I can see there's Barely, a pile like, of clothes right near that, um, right behind that dude where like, where like the lamp is. I can see behind that, the picture into it. Yeah. You can see the clothes there, dude. It's, it's dude. Did I you, can tell you one thing. These are two guys not afraid to cut cut. These are two guys ready to right. fucking rock. Well, that just means well, it I, isn't they, as thick as Well, as I, I mean, they, they didn't see cut cut in the picture. He didn't appear till after it was developed. Right. Ah. Just imagine a nine foot tall skeleton just watching these two dudes <laughs> just sitting there like, it's me, cut cut. Your future dismemberment is close at hand. <laughs> That's just nuts. <laughs> it is weird, dude. Oh, my God. So whatever spirit was in in their dorm room i mean he does bring up that there's a you know a, a civil war hospital and this and that but yeah it seems to be though oh, yeah. that obviously the, what we're dealing with here is that the, the the ouija board was the conduit whatever the ouija board brought through and dude kids nowadays i know he uh, he was talking about you know al was talking about having his daughters not play with ouija boards i know tons of kids 
They're like, oh yeah, I got a Ouija board. I talked to ghosts. I'm like, no, dude. My daughter was telling me she was playing with one. And I was like, hey, 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 no. Don't, don't, first of all, don't bring that shit here. We don't do that. And don't fuck with that shit. Did you tell her the tale of Captain Howdy? Uh, no, I did not. You're going to show her Exorcist? Uh, no. That'll put a kibosh I on it. I will not, but I was telling yeah, her that we don't, we don't, we, we, we don't, the stores just don't play with that She's shit. double digits now. It's time she learned. No, she's 10. God damn it. It's time for My Exorcist. My son doesn't really fuck around with it, but she's all, she's Really? Like, it's funny that like. She has friends that are like, I talked to ghosts and I'm like, tell me more because you're not my child. Tell yeah, me more. So have fun with it. Yeah, yeah exactly. They like yeah, through an I, app or like no, literally think, speak no, to like, the dead? straight up like Ouija boards. Hmm. Kids, man. I mean, hey, you know what? Good for them. You know why? Because they're out there and they're doing something creative and productive, not on their goddamn phones. Sure. Yeah. But so that's I mean, a plus. I did. I don't can't count how many Ouija boards I did when I was a kid. Sure, me too. Yeah. And just nothing except for the occasional Ouija cheater. Oh yeah, uh, yeah always Ouija a Ouija cheater. cheater. Yeah. yeah. All the ghosts that your daughter's friends like, are talking to, at least ninety eight percent of them are Ouija cheaters. I would wager more than that. I think I've, yeah. I, I, I did. <laughs> no, well, ninety eight percent is pretty high. I think I did one like once or twice, maybe. But That's I'm, it. I'm not really big into Ouija stuff. No, I don't know why. I, there's no. I have no like you know. I mean, I've got nothing for it. But, but mind you, this was before <clears throat> movies and pop culture made it a thing. Different, like it was a game. Like you, yeah, you it's supposed to roll up. Like, there's Monopoly way. trouble in yeah. a fucking Ouija board. You can, talk to ghosts, dude. You yeah. can go like to you, Walmart. You laugh and there's and a brand new buy, one there. Yeah, like, they have a, an updated one. It's, right, it's just there. So, but I think that that, that they're messing with the Ouija board and the fucking and the plus. You had the dude. You had suicidal cranking twenty four seven and cut huh. cut. Cut, cut was just there, fucking psycho for life. Yeah, this is a movie. It. This is like Witchboard Seven. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. like that's fair. I mean, <laughs> Dude, Mike Muir, heavy metal. Mike Muir could show up like a cameo. Was it the pizza guy? And he's like, oh, what was a Pepsi? Fucking dude. Oh no, that's what the guy says to him. Oh yeah, like he's like, I had to bring a coke. Like, all I wanted was a Pepsi. Yeah, yeah. dude. Then, then you say it to Mike, Mike and fucking, then it's he ironic. He like walks sweet. away. Yeah, he peeks out from under the troll, bandana. Does the walk. Mm, 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 gets out of there. Oh, Turns into the static entity. <gasps> oh, is this yeah. another movie we got to write? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, starring Mike Muir. <laughs> well, go. as the pizza guy in Cameo. <laughs> I think. Do we have but, connections? But here's the thing. No. We know. Ish. But we know uh, we do. Oh, we'll talk about it later, but we do. Oh, to suicidal. Fair enough. Yeah. Okay. All right. Calling in favors, boys. So tabling that for, for a moment. T- to get Mike Mira script. <laughs> if we'll have to write it. <laughs> if there is an interdimensional entity or some sort of like nefarious, I don't, you know, nether demon, whatever. I don't even know. Again, if I technically believe in demons, uh, at least from a strictly like you better believe in Kaka. He evil believes in from you. hell, demons. But I mean. So it's manifesting maybe from the energy that the guys are assuming yeah, assuming it's not a hoaxer like Chris pointed out, which right. is a lot of the times. And maybe maybe it was to begin with, but if there was something talking to them, it might have manifested through the energy that like five metal heads are bringing it, the 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 constant supply of metal music, of Eddie posters because this easily could have been a variation of of you know Eddie in some incarnation. Like when he's future Eddie or mummy Eddie or Pharaoh. Oh, like Cut Cut is taking on the persona of Eddie? Or manifesting in a way that's Kinda like cool. the music and metal I wouldn't pinchers. be bummed out. I'm okay. going to kill you. And like it's, be, it's like this amorphous energetic thing. It's realized. But it is in. taking the energy from the dudes, their thoughts, their their loves, their preferences, the aesthetic around them. And because it's this is its entire world, this fucking suite, it's becoming this thing. And Eddie is pretty tall too. At least on stage. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't think he's that tall in real life, but. Well, we've seen that in real life. He's awfully tall. He's a big boy. We've yeah. seen the big character that they built, but I oh don't God, think it's going to be a debate. I don't think <laughs> I don't think he's supposed to be that big we in saw real life. Eddie, that is real life. We experienced real life. Me and you together. Iron Maiden. Uh, okay. we, we experienced it. We were there. A nine foot tall Eddie couldn't fit into the cockpit of that plane. <laughs> In acres high. <laughs> Listen, yeah, that right. plane is built for Eddie, the nine foot tall Eddie. Was how it? dare you? I want to see him in a John Deere. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I need somebody to do the acres high farming, poster. Farming he's got a farm at, right? Yeah. Acres high. Yeah, fucking straw hat, plaid shirt, uh, overalls. Oh, uh, man. This is probably, though, honestly, cut, cut is probably one of the coolest fucking descriptions. A nine foot tall skeleton. Uh, and it is. Your hands. As Chris it's said, it's something from D&D. Which board seven or you saying D&D? It is an 80s movie. 
Oh, you know, Wes Craven would have done a franchise with Cut Cut. Fucking, it could have caught on if you had some pithy shit to say. Kids at a college, fucking, they're like the rock and roll. Of course, the heavy metal scare, the satanic panic of yeah. the 80s. Yeah, He would have dude. been called forth by not only uh, the occult practices of metalheads, a la The Gate and so many other movies back yeah, then. Yeah, that's right. But Play all, the record you know, backwards. Exactly. Yeah, that's trick the or only treat. thing missing from this. Is, <laughs> yeah, it's the backwards yeah. record. Yeah. But metal and it, the occult like, go hand in get hand. Get the gun, shoot, 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 or something like that. Oh, wasn't God. it? Wasn't one that of the one backwards? of Ozzy's, oh, allegedly? Yeah. I think for, yeah, for like Suicide Solution, I think that was like what they thought that the backward <sighs> record said. Thank God. I mean, we came this close to having legislation where artists would be financially responsible for people's terrible decisions yeah what yeah. a fucking shit show that would have been yeah i mean this shit's still under attack though there's oh, still i mean there's every- still even today people that get shit for that oh like, al- always yeah it's it's fucking awful. no the first amendment is constantly under threat 100 yeah. percent. and and you got to be vigilant you can't ever take that shit for granted no look man. at roe versus wade just dude just like cut cut just like cut cut, you, you never shit. take cut cut <laughs> for granted, dude. You know, I got to tell you, I, I I hate to do it prematurely and without consulting you guys openly, but I'm gonna I'm gonna say it. I think cut cut's on the table now. Is cut cut on the table? Oh, all right. I mean, I'm not saying he's in the middle. All right, he's hanging out near the edge, but he's not right. falling off either. He's not. Okay. I mean, the devil and diabetes squarely in the middle. All right, but, but, fucking, but cut cut's teetering on the edge. Cut, he's on my table. Okay, Cut Cut's pretty dope. I I mean, he sounds cool as shit. And I really want to draw he, Cut Cut. He, you, dude, you should draw Cut Cut, and then like you know, the, 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 uh, future dismemberment is honestly, it's it, it's there, it's happening, but he's just you know popped in a picture. Imagine this. Imagine the day that they get this picture given to them from the fucking phase clerk or whatever. I'm constantly using phase. I don't care because oh, I miss it. And I used to get all my shit. Transformers from there. All my shit fucking developed. Yeah, I was talking phase. to Bill about that. Yeah, exactly. So you pick this picture up. And then you see it, and you're like going through it and shit. You're like, oh, fuck, it's cut, cut. Then you got to go show your friends. Like, look what we got, dude. Proof, irrefutable proof. Nine foot skeleton will pinch your hands. And you're fucked eventually. Yeah. If I were Al, I to mean, this the, day, I think it worked out good for him. Al, the, the day before, give yourself like fucking carb, carb blocked. Fucking give yourself fucking a wide open license to cut loose and have fun because the day the night before you cut cut might show up is your excuse to party to have a good time to you know yeah hang out with loved ones and old friends whatever you want to do <laughs> cut cut could be coming tomorrow boys <laughs> cut cut eve is yours yeah make it yours for the rest of your life even if cut cut never shows up even if you're just going to have like beers with him in the afterlife you go dude i really got you and he's yeah. just like some cool fucking like right. afterlife bureaucrat. But I improved your life, right? Because you 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 lived like you were dying. Is that <laughs> oh yeah, is that is that the life? weird is that the weird twist? Live right. every day. I made you live every right. day. Like he's, you're like, dying. he's like Hugh on Next Generation. Yeah, like yeah. just a constant pure dick fuck face. But there's but oh, for a higher purpose, right? Under the threat of future dismemberment. Boy, yeah, yeah. It just this sounds like Jeff. <laughs> yeah you know what yeah, actually, like, you're right. he's does. just kind of trolling he's just like eh I'm gonna kill you when I don't know eh, this, you know future dismemberment yeah when in I June don't. they even wrote him on the, the dates in the dry board dude oh I wish there was a picture of that oh I know man well shit there you have it thank y'all so very much love for it. joining I love us stories. Yeah. evil science and magic buddies listener stories part 28 if you would like to submit your stories you can do so at kryptonotpodcast.com where also I mentioned a couple of times, but I'm going to keep mentioning it because people are going to ask us. The picture will be there. It'll also be on the Instagram. So as you're listening to this, check it out there. Do that. If you got a story you want to submit, again, kryptonotpodcast.com, you can do it through the contact form or you can simply email us at kryptonotpodcast at gmail.com. Send the story. People send them all the time. Please refrain from DMing me your story. Cause it's a, then I got to log into to Instagram on the web and I got to cut copy and paste. It's, it's a huge the pain web. in the dick for your boy, Mark. So just email it whichever way you can. And if you've been sitting on something, you're like, I think I want to send it in by all means, send it in. We love getting these. We have a huge collection of them. I just went through and reworked the entire folder section that I have for this in my email. Wow. I changed some Dang, of the color coded right. flags. I got a whole new library set up for them that I'm just moving them all around constantly. Now just making little boxes of things to go in. Yeah. I love it's it. It's good for my OCD. Hell yeah. And I get up nice. very early in the morning, and sometimes I need a task to accomplish before I leave the house. And that satisfies? Oh, yeah. Actually, I did it this morning. It was pretty good. It was cool pretty beans. good. I got a whole bunch of shit broken a up task. there. So. so do that. Um, And Robert, we have some shout outs to do for the good folks over there at patreon.com slash kryptonotpodcast and $1 on the $5 tier. Good, sir. Saints one and all. 
Let's do the beloved. Calcorax. Calcorax, dude, kind of sounds My like a favorite Z- detergent. Yeah, yeah or, really dude, something with Scientology, dude. The 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 fucking nemesis of Z of Zenu. Calcorax. So a thetan or a detergent. A deter- yeah, dude, it's a detergent. Keep your thetans clean. <gasps> with Calcorax. With Calcorax. All right, cool. Good job, Calcorax. Let's, let's do that. I love it. Chelsea Sindel. Thank you, Chelsea. Stefania. Hell yeah, Stefania. So exotic. I love it. Oh, this is fun. Inbred cold. Yeah. Oh, going yeah. back to the beginning yeah. with second uh, cousin yep. Chris and marrying second cousin Chris. Oh, full Having circle. Inbred cold. Is this part of your plan too? Yeah. There you go. Didn't have this in my didn't have this in my theme. Oh. No. Come on. Sure as fuck is now. I though. mean, you really thought it out. <coughs> Ghost. <laughs> You. <laughs> I've got deep. an overarching theme. You're not going to believe it. You literally, <laughs> you played it so hard. You hyped it up, dude. I got this. It's a perfect match. I'm like, I, I'm going, I'm, and I'm finding all these connections for it. You should have nah. lied and owned every one. I can't. That's not. I'm, dude. I'm a man of the of the fucking truth, dude. You're a man of the farm. Man of the fakers. You listen to <laughs> Acres <laughs> High, man. You just you work the dirt. You fucking tell the truth. <laughs> That's that's the Acres way. We got ghosts. That's all I got, dude. Oh, Fucking yeah. ghosts. I mean, you're not wrong. No, I did, I nailed it. Ghosts. You fuck. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> but did you? I did. Yeah. They're more like interdimensional. I nailed it. Ghosts. All right, fine. You yeah. Got it. No, I'm not. I'm gonna let you have it. All right, it's fine. Moving on. Oh, Jeremy Wall. Thank you, Jeremy. Thank you. We appreciate it. Oh, <laughs> Jeremy, you pick the next theme, please. <laughs> <laughs> Alistair Bernston. Thank you, Alistair. Burntson. Jeremy. Burntson. 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 Yeah. Burnt. Alistair Burntson. Thank you. Going back to Jeremy, he does not have access to my folders or my organization methods. He just <laughs> including <laughs> no, he doesn't. Ghosts. So, so Jeremy, I'll say this: Don't DM Mark your theme. <laughs> Send it in an email. And Alistair, thank you. We appreciate yes. it very much. Tedious Jester. Thank you, Tedious Jester. I, I don't find you tedious at all. Edward <clears throat> Young. Thank you, Edward. We appreciate it. Thea Hyperion. Yeah. Nice. Hyperion. I love it, Thea. That's pretty awesome. solid. Yeah, yeah, you're an alien. Andrew Rimby. Andrew Rimby. Rimby. The Rimster. Yeah. Not like the way Mark pronounced it seven or eight times. Oh, you mean during our rehearsal? Yeah. Our rehearsal podcast where I said Rimbly? Over and over. Yeah. Despite corrections. Okay. Well, now the clear indication there was no L's in either name. Rimby. Andrew (laughs) Rimbleby. (laughs) Right. Landrew. Yeah. (laughs) Landrew. (laughs) Rimbley. Andrew Uh, Rimby. Thank you. Yes. Thank you, everyone. Thank, Thank you, you so for your much. support. It keeps this shit going, keeps us in studio, keeps me in fucking paranormal books and, and you know, gives us houses. Yeah. Houses so, are important. So thank you, yeah. everyone, for this. And again, that is uh, patreon.com slash Podcast. One of the five dollars gets you access to that Discord. Do it up. Christopher, we have some special little things happening over at Patreon. Yes, we do. We have some uh, some sneak peeks, we'll say that they are, right? They First, are. For they are they, we got some sneak peeks of Patreon um, episodes, podcasts, but they're video. Mm. You get to watch us around the table. Oh, sexy elder bastards that we are. Yes, you get to see us actually do the podcast. And I'm going to stop blocking the camera with my hand. No, you won't. I probably won't. No, no I'm, I'm, I'm going to make it a point to like point to Chris like this. So right. I'm not going to go this way to you. I'm going to go this way over here to Chris. I, I realized that I talk literally like I'm three Italians rolled into one. Yeah, and we all not, do. But that's what I've always done. Yeah, we all do it. We're it's animated fun. speakers. We are. Sometimes we're, we're going to block the camera. We're, we're passionate men. Yes, we are. There we go. It's fiery. Um, so be sure to check that out if you have access to the Discord. Or, I'm sorry, if you have access to the Patreon. There are some videos up there posted. And yeah, just a little sneak peek of some stuff we got coming up in the next Patreon tier. So so, so again, and let us know what you think. Get on there. Let us know what you think. Like, oh my God, I didn't realize that's what you guys look like. Because some people still are blown away. Oh, I'm away. so disappointed. Some people are blown away. They're like, that's what you guys right. look like. Like, yeah. You're we're, we're fucking old. We're literally on merch. <laughs> we're literally on that's merch. True. So, um, so yeah, check it out there. Thank you all for continuing to support the Inses and the Twitters and the Facebooks and the, the things and the X and the TikTok and all that shit's happening. Not TikTok, but follow us in the socials. Uh, do it there. Help destroy democracy. That's fine. Um, there's merch available at T, uh, T public shop, which is hellerspace.com and crowdmade, which is crypto.merch.com. Check that out there. Um, you know what, man, if you enjoy the show and you're like, I have not dropped a rate in a review, 
What the hell? We haven't asked you for a rating and review in a long time. Actually, no, we did we recently. Did. Recently. Because yeah. you, you were you were definitely pity fucking me. You're like I was say not. nice things about Rob. It was not a pity fuck. I say nice things about you all the time to people that you don't even know. I know and I appreciate exactly. it. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Makes me happy. Yeah. I know. You got sad eyes though. Yeah, you I do. do. Like, oh, Why oh, you got oh. sad eyes for? I'm just saying. Don't <laughs> we don't normally ask for reviews, okay, but Fuck it. If you're out there and you're like, I want to leave these guys something fun, just go on there. Apple Podcasts. I don't even know if Apple Podcasts is a thing anymore, man. I mean, I don't know. Spotify is so nice because you leave stars. There's no typing. You're just like, I like it. Five stars. So much easier. Apple mm. Podcasts is a pain in the dick. Yeah. And now I feel like an asshole asking these people to go fucking give us a review. But it'd be nice if you did. If you did, cool. And you know what? If you don't, good on you too. That's Whatever. fine. I mean, we're True. not going to. Yeah. It's we're right not, back to where we started. We're not going to be dicks to you about no, it. No, not at all. But if you want to leave some reviews, we appreciate it. It helps the show. I, I don't I don't know if it helps the show anymore. I'm pretty sure it does. It makes us. It's nice to see what people yeah. think about the show. Yeah. yeah right. That part's good. Yeah. Apple podcast is confusing. It's funny because they used to be the top dog in the game, man. And then Spotify just came in and fucking swooped down. Mm. Just like a rap, like, a, like an eagle just grabbing a kitten. In front wow. of this, a child who's ripping it apart and eating it. All right. All right. Yeah. That's vivid. Yeah. That's dude, super there vivid. You go. Yeah. Um, so you have it. Thank you all so very much. And we're talking to you soon. Yes, indeed. Thanks, all. Bye. Acres high. A- acres high. <laughs> dude, I'm never living that. I might, down. I'm gonna have, I might have to write it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I got the first line, but I don't know. I might have to write the whole fucking thing. <laughs> there goes a tractor. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we talked to you. Bye. Bye. <laughs>